This is Twit. Nathan's next from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Hi, Nathan. Uh oh, did I did I do something wrong? I pushed the button. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Mute. You were in mute. You were in mute. I know you were. I could tell. I was on mute. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Hi, Nathan. Hey. Um, hey. So I was listening to you yesterday, and I heard the call about Google Voice, and it made me want to call in because after almost a decade on iOS, I finally made the switch, and I got a Pixel 2 XL, largely based on your reviews. How do you like it? Love it. Oh, good. The the camera is just phenomenal. Isn't it amazing? Between that and the iPhone 10, and I just decided to get off that bandwagon, yeah. and I, I made the switch, and I couldn't be happier. Good. So I I, yeah. I also a very happy Pixel 2 XL user. It's, yeah, it's awesome. a shame because the early reviews were so negative, and I think this is a great phone. I, I don't have any of the problems people talked about. The screen looks great. Well, and just the options that I have in Android now. My well, that's right. Me. And that, that you know, that some some people don't like that because more options means more choices. Some people just want to use the phone. But if you're the kind of person oh, that likes exactly. to customize it, it's great. Well, yeah, and the whole, like, now that my messages are green, you'd think people have just lost their minds. <laughs> <laughs> Your messages are wrong. What's going on? Have you stopped being an iPhone user? I, well, you like so, if you like to tweak your friends, that's a good way to do it, too. It is funny. There's just so many different ways to message people now, too. It, it, you know, yeah, I agree. Uh, Apple Messages is great. Look, there's nothing wrong with Apple Messages. Right. It's a lock-in, though, because it's only on Apple no. stuff. Mm -hmm. That's not good. Well, I know. Well, so regarding the Google Voice call, yes. um, yeah. I've had Google Voice for years. I decided to, and this was kind of an involved process. It was interesting, but I decided to port my AT&T cell number that I had on okay. my iPhone yeah. to Google Voice. Okay, so that's now your Google Voice. Now, are you using AT&T for your Pixel 2 XL? Well, yeah. So this, okay. is, this is what happened. So I ported it with Google Voice. Yeah. And then a day later, my service got canceled. Yes, AT &T, but I knew that was, I knew that was going to happen. You took it away from so I, them. I did, yeah. So I called AT and T back, and I just added a line because I've got yes. a family plan and everything. That's so we right. just added another line. That's right. So the Google Voice is working great on my old AT and T cell number regarding getting and, and sending and receiving messages. Yeah, and the reason you took that number with you is so that people wouldn't have to get a new number for you. you they could use your old number, and instead of going well, to AT&T, it'd go right into Google Voice. Well, I could have transferred. I mean, I'm staying with AT&T, and I yeah, could have yeah. just transferred my SIM and just kept my number, but I just... I like the flexibility. No, I, I completely voice. understand. I don't give out any number by Google Voice number now because that's how you reach me. Yeah, so the Google Voice app works great on it, but the only hang-up I have is, and I and I thought you could do this, but apparently you can't, and that, that's ultimately my question for you, is I would like to be able to make Google Voice the default messaging app. And I'd, yeah, you can't. seem like there's a way to do Okay. You can make Hangouts the default messaging app, however, and that's kind yeah. of what they want you to do. Okay. But, and if you remember the call from yesterday, uh, Google has the most confusing messaging strategy i almost want to say messaging message uh, uh you could imagine they don't seem to know themselves what they want to do so they have android messenger which you can also use they have hangouts hangouts is a second class citizen unless you're a google fi subscriber which you're not but it will but you can use hangouts with google voice in fact you'll notice your hangouts messages show up on google voice so what i would suggest the the android unlike the iphone will let you choose the default messaging app even more than apple they'll let you use a non-google app for that you can use facebook messenger if you want you could use whatsapp you could use telegram or you can use one of the half dozen different google messaging programs weirdly the one you can't use was the one i'd like to use which is google's allo a-l-l-o can't be used as sms oh, yeah. that's what it, it, it makes me nuts i I use Hangouts. I, I think you can use Hangouts successfully. They have changed what Hangouts can do. I don't know about SMS messaging, but 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 try it. Um, well, yeah. I'm, I made the Google Voice app, you know, my dialer. Yeah, yeah but, it, it, yeah, but it, yeah, you can do that, but it won't let you make it your messaging app. <laughs> yeah, so I can't, like, dictate to it to call somebody. I know. Somebody. 
I know. So, that's cool. yeah, yeah. so and, I have a new number on that's tied to my AT and T, but I don't want to give out that number. I just don't even want to deal with that. So no, no, that number you hide because you may go to a different carrier. You want it from now on. Your Google Voice number is your one and only true official number. And you just yeah. forward it to whatever phone you're using. It solves a problem for me because I'm always using, I'm, I have an iPhone 10 and a Pixel 2 and a Note 8. I use all three. But if you call me on my Google Voice number, all three will ring. And I just pick it up on whichever phone I happen to have in my pocket. That's a great feature. Uh, you can have sure it ring is. your home number as well if you want. The, the, where you get into trouble and when it gets a little weird is with this messaging thing. Because for one thing, you don't want a message from your AT&T number. You want your message to be coming from your Google Voice number. Yeah. So my, I, I would say that what you want to do is use Hangouts. It won't send SMS because it's not going to use AT&T's SMS system. It will send it as a multi. Right. It'll send an MMS. But from anybody you're talking to isn't going to know the difference. It'll come into their phone as an SMS. Yeah. So I, I think like that's that the solution. Google Voice finally put MMS on. That was my. That was the yeah. one thing that was holding me back. Yeah. So. But I, I am, I am terrified of what Google's plans are for Hangouts. It doesn't seem. They, it doesn't seem clear what they're, whether they like it or don't like it. Frankly, same thing for Google Voice. The, like, the only reason I have high hopes for Google Voice is they at least updated it recently. So that makes me think, well, they're not killing it yet anyway. Hangouts has another advantage. You can use it on your desktop. If you use Google Chrome, you can add the Hangouts extension to Google well, Chrome. Well, that's why I wanted Google Voice, because I wanted to yep. be able to message from a computer yep. or my phone. To, yeah, yep. so but you I use like Hangouts for that. that yeah, use Hangouts for that. And so it becomes pretty much the equivalent of Apple's messages, except that it works everywhere. Exactly. I even use Hangouts on my iPhone. So, okay. so I think that's your solution. I admit that may not be the perfect solution because of Google's very strange attitudes towards messaging. Well, it's surprising. It's a Google phone. I it's know, I know. They, they own Android. I know. I, <laughs> I, I, you know, Google has this new system they want everybody to use instead of SMS or MMS called RCS. But they've had a hard time getting carriers to get behind it. It's a data-based Open, you know, standard messaging system. Google's Android Messenger uses RCS, so that's why they're pushing their Android Messenger. But it's not; it doesn't do that thing that you want to do, which is use it on the desktop as well as on the phone. Okay. It's I, try hang. Have you tried Hangouts? Uh, yeah, I'm using Hangouts. Uh, my wife and I message with that. Right. But I'm so, mostly using just the stock Google Voice app. What um, you can do is you can go into apps in your settings. And it, in the advanced section of apps, there's default apps. And you can set your default messaging app to be that or other uh, messages. Oh, because the only option I saw for that was Facebook Messenger. Yeah. The, once you've the, Once you've installed Google's Hangouts... It can be your default, I believe. Uh, now, mm, I didn't think so. Oh, maybe not. Oh, well, that's not good. So the reason it is for me is because I'm using Google Fi on my Pixel 2. Uh, okay. And maybe that is not available to you. I see Hangouts, Signal, Android Messages. If I had Facebook Messenger, I'd see that. If I had WhatsApp, I'd see that. So you, 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 oh, that is one of the advantages of Android. You could use a variety of third-party messaging apps. So uh, maybe if Hangouts isn't available, you do use Facebook Messenger because that has a desktop component, or you use WhatsApp. Tried that, but it actually sends my um, AT and T cell number out. Yeah, that's what you use. don't want it to do. Yeah, they don't. They yeah. don't. They don't. Uh, the messaging component of Google Voice is Hangouts, and if they won't let you use that for SMS, well, I don't know what Google.